probably one of the most unluckiest races that we've lost. First, it's it's one hit to the wall, and then that that sends us sends us down pit lane, and then we lose a bunch of points there, and and it sucks. And then we get a really unlucky caution when the frickin' the the sign, this one of the sponsorship signs on the side of the wall falls off, which causes a caution. It sets Kyle back a lot. And then there are a few other cautions along the way that happen. One of them being that the, the curb came off, and that was a really unlucky caution. And just a lot of stuff that wasted a lot of time that led to Kyle Larson getting eliminated by Chase Briscoe. Chase Briscoe! He's not even going to make it to the championship! He's going to get eliminated after this round, I guarantee it. And it's, it's unfair! Chase Briscoe. Chase Briscoe. Chase Briscoe. Chase Briscoe. He's not going to do well. He's not even going to do well in the races. He's going to get eliminated after this round. He's not going to win a race. He's probably not even going to finish top 10 in any of the races. He's going to suck it up just like he has. He lucked into a win that got him in the playoffs in the first place. He's not that good of a driver and really only benefits from luck and this new this new car that absolutely sucks. It's absolutely horrible. It's unsafe and this leveling the playing field bullcrap is really just making the car horrible. That's what levels the playing field is is because the car is horrible. Because it's harder to drive in a horrible way. It's not just hard because it's hard. It's hard because it's a horrible car. It's a horrible car with horrible safety. And none of the drivers like it. Except for the ones that were sucking before. That are now magically becoming good. Because the car sucks. And in any time Kyle Larson does bad, everybody loves to see it. All the all the Chase Elliott fans love to see it. They they say stuff like Kyle Larson's washed and stuff like that. Even though last year Chase Elliott didn't have the best of years. I'm not saying he had a bad year, he made it to the championship four. But he didn't have the best of years. And Kyle Larson was doing better than him. So, you know, by the same logic. We could have, I could have called Chase Elliott washed. They they just complain and they hold such a grudge about everything you do that if you if you wrong Chase Elliott in any way whatsoever, you become you know that driver becomes the Antichrist. Essentially. just it's just horrible it's just horrible i i didn't expect kyle larson to go back to back i didn't but i did expect him to at least make it to the round of eight and it's even more frustrating when he he was in the top four for most of the playoffs and then just chokes chokes and gets unlucky i can't entirely put the blame on him but yeah, it wasn't his best race. If you want to go look up the the things that Kyle Larson said when he lost, go ahead and do that because I feel like it perfectly explains the situation. He is upset with himself and, yeah, blames himself entirely, which probably is what makes it even more frustrating to watch people say that like you know he he's not as as tough as last year he's not he doesn't want to win as much as last year and stuff like that because he wants to win just as much 
it's just frustrating to see that because you know that he he's still the same driver. It it just sucks to see. It just sucks to see. It hurts to to be eliminated. And it, it does sting a little bit more that, that last year it ended in tears of joy and this year it ends in tears of sadness. It's horrible. 